more blessed to give it is more blessed to give than to receive acts 20 verse 35 there is greater wealth in disseminating wealth or valuables than in their accumulation it is better and more profitable to divest wealth than it is to accrue wealth. The secret is in the flow. The human establishment wants to cut off, to enclose and charge for, to encapsulate, <coughs> to control and scourge, which is the hidden meaning in the dollar sign. However, the Bible shows you the truth. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. Luke 6.38 <clears throat> The whole secret of true prosperity, true sufficiency, is the flow. <clears throat> Things must flow. You must husband the flow that it staunch not, but rather proceeds unrestricted and unimpaired into all the world. There should be no panic attack over the outflow, but rather a faithfulness to notice the miracle of the resultant inflow which comes with patience in the due passage of time. Not as when Moses smote the rock in the wilderness, which rock was a symbolism of Jesus, unto whom all power is given in heaven and earth, but rather in letting the rock give forth and flow by your request and supplication. <clears throat> the key is movement. The key is movement. There is no such thing as a Christian conservative. That's as the disobedient church in Revelations whose constituents were wont to say that they were rich and increased in goods and imagine that they had need of nothing when, as the Master warned, they didn't realize the stark reality that they were desolate, wretched, naked, and in need of virtually everything. Measurable wealth, measurable wealth is a sign of poverty. Measurable wealth is a sign of poverty. Never mind what the worldly tell you. They don't know anything. It's true. Most everything they advise is absolutely useless and will only end in armed conflict which they must use as the sole method they have to increase their imagined wealth. What makes me the great expert? I'm not. The Bible is the expert, bud. If you want to be really wealthy, really wealthy, you're going to have to have God show you it's all there in the Bible. If you don't get it, that's because the Bible is a concealed document. These things are decoded supernaturally by the Holy Spirit. So first, pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and then read the Bible. You'll be surprised. Confess your sins and pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Then read the Bible.
is going to really surprise you. It really will. God is interested in you prospering, whoever you are. But you've got to do things His way or it won't work. And you'll fail. Even though in the interim things appear to be going well. And then when, when you prosper, you are steward over that wealth, not the owner thereof. It's your responsibility to see to it that that wealth is used wisely as it is God's, it is God's wealth. It is not your wealth. You're accountable for the use thereof or the lack of use thereof. Remember, <laughs> you're not God. And most realities of true economics are simply beyond your or anyone's intellectual ability. As a human being, beyond your or any anyone's intellectual ability to understand. If you study the scripture in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit, you'll then begin to understand some of the not understandable or what the worldly never grasp when they attempt to read the Bible. Think of it as an upgrade. You can trust God's word. It will come true. It will happen. God is the great venture capitalist. Only he is. And only he is so with all reality. Not just money, which is a mere and minor symbolism of value and production. Some may see the people of God and remark that none of them are rich. But they're wrong. They are wrong. Even materially, they, the people of God, are truly rich in ways beyond human imagination or measurement. Remember those who aren't faithful in that which is least won't be trusted in that which is much. Money and physical wealth are <laughs> entry-level assets. Money and physical wealth are entry-level assets. That's why many of the charlatans and the apostates prostitute themselves to become monetarily rich. They can't have the real thing, so they settle for the sham. For the merchants of Babylon the whore, check it out, Revelations 18, verse 23, are the great men of the earth. What a waste for a great man to become a merchant for a stinking whore. So, remember, it is, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Check it out. The book of Acts, chapter 20. And that's in verse 35. 